today we're going to be talking about something that no game developer wants us to talk about. They don't want you to even think about this, but we're going to be talking about it in reference to the console edition of Rust. So what is the topic? The topic is skins and do skins cause lag? So the reason I'm bringing this up is because a lot of people have mentioned to me, especially on last gen consoles, this would be your Xbox One's and your PlayStation 4s, they've mentioned to me that the staging branch of the console edition of Rust runs better than the main branch of the console edition of Rust. When I first heard this, I assumed it was simply because a fix or a bug or something like that had been patched on the staging branch that had not been patched on the main branch. However, as time goes on, people keep saying the same thing. Now, there's a lot of reasons that this could be happening. Part of the reason is probably because there's just less people playing on the staging branch. So there's not as many big bases. And later into the game, people aren't experiencing as much lag as they would on the main branch of Rust. However, I don't think that is all of the case. I don't think that's everything that's going on. I'm going to just give a few reasons why. Obviously, I could be wrong about this. I don't want to get anyone too mad at me. But... I think part of the reason might be skins. So as we've gotten deeper and deeper into the whole Rust console release, people have noticed that some of the glowing skins tend to lose their glow as time goes on. The glow is an effect that occurs and it's light that needs to be rendered. And this is something obvious. When you have skins that have any sort of like glow or sort of animation to them, they do tend to actually lag games. If you look, a lot of people have discussed this in regards to Fortnite. I know some of you guys hate Fortnite. You want to say ick, but actually I don't think it's that bad of a game. Anyways, when we go in reference to Fortnite, you'll see people talking about, hey, don't use skins with animations because they cause your game to lag a little bit more, especially for people on lower sort of end systems. So we know that's happening in Fortnite. It seems like the glow is being reduced in Rust. So probably a lot of these glow skins are going to get nerfed as time goes on because they want the latest and greatest skins to glow. And those old skins, they just want them to be a little bit more trash. I, I don't think this is any sort of conspiracy. I think that's just how things have to go because they probably are causing lag. The next part that we're going to talk about does get a little bit more insidious in my opinion because I think this is something that a lot of game developers know and actually I've done some research on this. I know Serial Overdrive did a bit of research and on the PC version Ross people are actually having the same issue. So what they're finding is that skins are textures. Everybody knows this. Textures need to be loaded into your video card RAM so that they can load faster, so that they can be processed faster, and so everything just works better. As you get more and more textures, you're more and more likely to fill up the RAM. Think about it like grains of rice. If you start filling your house with grains of rice, at some point, your house is going to explode. You're going to have too much rice in there, and you won't be able to fit anything else, and it just sucks. Or if your house is airtight, it literally might explode when you pack that last bit in and the pressure gets to be too much. Now, let's say instead of running this beautiful 3090, this mansion of a house, you're a little bit homeless and you're living in a box. It takes a lot less rice to fill up that box than it would that mansion. So what's happening is people who are running their systems in boxes, or in this case, people who are using last gen consoles. Sorry, I did just relate you to the homeless, but... Let's be real here. Um, no, but anyways, people who are using systems with less memory, their systems get filled up faster. So when you add more and more textures to a game, at some point, there is a point where that is going to cause some issues. Now, a lot of textures, the way a lot of this works, and I, I don't know anything about the code here, but the way a lot of this works is textures are only loaded in as they're used. But as more players get into servers, as more players use skins, as more players use different skins, more and more textures have to be loaded into the memory. And eventually you hit a point where there's just too many textures being used at once. And this would be because to retrieve those textures, the game has to go back to either RAM or the hard drive. I'm not 100% sure how this works. I'm guessing it should be RAM, but it depends on system optimization, how things are programmed and that. If you have a really good programmer, you're going to have a lot of stuff, probably optimizing the GPU so that things are... Eh, we're not going to get into that. Anyway, so... What's happening is basically with systems that have less memory, they've got to go back to the RAM and slower forms of memory more and more. And the more skins that are added, the more likely people are to be using different skins, which means the more likely there is to be lag. Um, and the best way to see this is if you look into some of these servers on the PC version of Rust that have skin packs enabled, or I forget what it's called, but a skin box enabled, which basically allows anyone to use any skin they want. 
you start to run into issues where people are just using too many skins and they're saying, well, people are complaining about lag. And it's like, well, yeah, it's because you just loaded a ton of skins, a ton of textures into your game, and it's overflowing people's sort of video card memory. So yeah, what we're getting at is I think that one of the reasons or one of the, re yeah, probably one of the main reasons that the staging branch is running better than the main branch is because of skins. The staging branch for the console edition of Rust does not have any skins. However, on the main branch, it does have skins. Now, one of the things that you will see that does get counteracted is they are improving the game. As things get better and better, it's gonna run smoother and smoother, but as they add more and more skins, it's gonna run just a little bit slower. I think the improvements outweigh the downsides of these added skins. I think this is going to be a problem that continues to grow. Now, obviously with this, the way this works is everybody's gotta be using different skins on your servers. When you see clans that are all sort of synced up in their outfits and everything like that, that's actually beneficial to last gen players because there's less textures to be loaded into their system and they're less likely to have issues loading that in. If you're a very sort of evil clan and you all have latest gen or you wanted to test this out, what you could do is put a bunch of different boxes with a bunch of different skins on them, put a bunch of different players with a bunch of different skins, and just sort of use as many different skins as you can in one scene and see if that causes your game to lag more. That would be one easy way to test it. This would be an easy way to prove me wrong, in fact. Just get an Xbox One, an original, show it running without anyone using skins, and everybody equips all their skin gear. Like, it would need to be a lot of people. Like, we're talking about, like, one of those big, big Zerg clans. Then everybody equips all their skins, and then to see just how the game runs. It would, it would be an interesting experiment, but I do think this is an issue that is going to start popping up more and more as more and more skins are released. But this is not an issue that is solely on the laps of Rust console developers. This is an issue with Rust that is known. This is an issue with pretty much every other game out there. There's a lot of skins that cause lag for people that are using lesser systems. I don't think it's fair. I think it's a bit pay to win, especially when you start talking about things that might be lagging a whole generation of consoles or a whole at least initial generation of consoles. I think there was a little bit more RAM and stuff like that added to later versions of the Xbox One and PlayStation 4, but some of those original ones might be having sort of the most trouble with this. One option that could be used to fix this is they could add a disable skins button or disable skins option to the main version of the game. It's something that the PC version Rust has, so I think this would be sort of a cool thing to add. Also, what that does is that takes away from skins. So if you got a camouflage skin or whatever, and you're using it to blend in or look like a scientist or whatever you're using it to do, all a player has to do if they want to be competitive and they want to have an even playing field is just to disable all skins. They won't be able to see their skins they won't get as much of a colorful game experience, but it won't be as, it will it won't have any pay to win elements to it because let's face it, skins, especially ones that let you blend in, like camouflage skins, are a bit pay to win. Um, but yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking. Um, that's all I've got to say on the matter. Hopefully, it shed some light and sort of helped people understand just how these things work and why the more and more skins that get added to any game, the more likely you are to experience lag. One thing though to keep in mind is, as long as everybody's using the same skins, as long as there's a bunch of skins that nobody uses anymore, it's really not gonna be an issue. The issue is only going to occur when a bunch of people in the same area, sort of in the same render distance, are all using different skins. Until next time, peace.